Be back. I need a call. YouTube has been a minute. I haven't posted a video in about two months. That is on me. I got in my own way. I got lazy. But we're back with a crazy transformation on my cousin Matt. I went back home, visited some family. He had grown his hair out since February and waited for me to come home to cut it. Typically, he does a number three on the top with a ball fade, but he wanted to leave some length on top. Still do a ball fade on the side, but go ahead and transition into a comb over on the top. So I'm just sectioning the, the parting and then on the top, I'm keeping the fringe out of the length on the top just so that there's a little extra length in the front to grow because it's not 100% where it should be. So I didn't want to take any length out of the front. So I'm just coming through the whole top, taking about half an inch off and I'm doing that all the way around. So I'm going to take the hair from the side, I'm going to pull everything 90 degrees off the head and I'm going to find that short bit on the bottom and match it to the short bit up top and just cut the longer hairs in the middle. So a little backstory on Matt. He was the first person that ever let me cut his hair. And I basically locked him and myself in my room with some Walmart clippers that didn't even have a lever. And I tried to give him a mid ball fade. Now obviously without any lever, I couldn't control the gradiency of that fade. So every single time I would put a line in, trying to remove it, I would just push it higher and higher to the point where he actually was bald on his first day of freshman year. And due to those contributions that he's made, those sacrifices that he's made, I owe this kid free haircuts for the rest of his life. And I gave him that haircut and I contemplated whether this was for me or not. But I didn't stop, I just kept pushing. He kept letting me cut his hair and as time went on, it got better and better. And here we are almost five years later, still doing this. So with that being said, just keep pushing, keep working on your craft, master everything that you can, and just have fun while you're doing it. So we're coming through here with the trimmers. I just created my first bald line with my blade closed and we're just gonna remove the bulk underneath it. We're gonna go with the blade open and we're just gonna notch it down halfway, quarter way, close until that bottom line is faded out. Remain consistent in, in these guidelines because that's gonna allow for the fade to be even all the way throughout. You have to be consistent. You have to find a system that works for you, that keeps you in a good time frame, especially in the barbershop. So we're just using the number one. We're going open to close. And then we're gonna come in with the 0.5 guard. And we're gonna come in halfway open and we're just gonna notch it down until it's closed and that bottom line is blended. Now 
I went into my foundation that I created with the shears with the number two. So I know that I'm fading up to a number two. So once I finish that, that section with the one, I'm gonna come in with a one and a half, open to close. So we're gonna just repeat the same process in the back of the head. And as you can see, I'm just working through notch by notch, going open to close, putting the number one on, same thing, open to close and finally getting to the 0.5 guard and that last guard will remove that faint line that you're seeing. Like I said, this is all about the process. You know, your system has to be intact. It has to be easy to follow because you don't want to get lost in the fate. Everything that you're doing has to be done purposely. So here we're just detailing. I'm using the corners of my flipper with the 0.5 guard on, and I'm coming up into that one open area. The back of the head is way more dense, so you can afford to go up a little bit higher with that 0.5 guard to take out any dark spots. Now on the comb over side where the hair will fall, I'm using shear over comb just to blend the rest of that ridge into the sides. I'm coming through with my trimmers. I'm throwing this hard part in. I'm not making it super thick because I'm gonna come into it with a razor anyways to define it. Now obviously there's two sides to every line so you're gonna come through, flip the trimmer over and hit that bottom line. And make sure you line up your mouse over that like button. Show the page some support. Like, share, comment, subscribe. We're gonna try to be super consistent on here. Gonna try to drop as much as I can, put out as much content as I can for you, for me, for my own growth and for this channel. So I'm just coming through, like I said, the same system. I know that I left off with the number two, so I just put a number three on and I went up a little bit higher. And I'm just detailing, I'm using my eye just to see, you know, how the hair is reacting to the guard, if I have to drop down to a lower guard, and so forth. So I like how this was looking, so I came through with the trimmer just to start the lineup. Now once you put this lineup into the hair, you're going to see imperfections that you wouldn't be able to see prior. Shout out to my fiance for helping me out here. She pointed out a spot on his head that still looked dark. Now, like I said, I'm cutting outside. So the sunlight, it's, it's a little bit harder cutting with just 100% sunlight. So it's, it's definitely good to have her there kind of helping me out, guiding me in the right direction. I don't know why she doesn't go to barber school. I've told her a million times to do that because she definitely has the eye for it. So we're gonna finish up this uh, other side of the lineup. And in the front, I'm not gonna really put a hard line. I'm just gonna kind of trim some of the hairs that are hanging over. And then I'm gonna just go over the rest of his hair with sheer over comb and just kind of use my eye. Now listen guys, shoot or shoot. And with this compressor, 
I feel like Steph Curry. So we loaded it up with some no drip, black brown. I'm gonna pull the trigger and man, my gun was not working. As you can see, I just stained his whole face. I had to go back with the alcohol pad, clean all that off. And we just gotta keep the haircut natural from here. So I'm just gonna apply some shave gel. I'm gonna come back with my razor and I'm just gonna line him up. Um, guys, definitely check your guns before using it. Make sure that they spray. It, it's just a headache cleaning that up off the client, and it's also embarrassing. So just double check the gun before you use it. Don't make the same mistake that I did. Learn from me. I'm glad that it was my cousin that I was doing this on, because if that was a client in the shop, it just, it wouldn't have looked good. So here we go now with the razor. We're just coming back through the hard part and we're just touching it up making it look sharp and again shout out to my fiance for the angles she's holding the camera right now trying to get the best shot that we possibly could Now I have some elegance gel that I'm gonna put into his hair. I'm not a huge fan of gel. I don't like how it dries and flakes up, but that's all that I had in my grandmother's house. So we're gonna make it work. Now let's go ahead and check out the before and how crazy this man was looking. And now look at the after. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.